Have you ever reached into an oven and like hit yourself up there yep. or hit yourself down there? Yep. Look, I'm touching the inside of the oven with this and it doesn't even, you know, I, I can't even feel it. That's the beautiful thing about these. You can literally grab that giant turkey and you've still got the Ooh. mobility oh, of all your fingers. This. Look at this. And if you want those Happy gloves, holidays. there's 25 left, did you say, Rob? 75 left. Oh, You're thank living with you so much. Oh my gosh, is that a 25 Thank pounder? You. This is a 20 pounder, beautiful big turkey. And like I said, Thank with these heat proof gloves, I can touch it, I can I can hold, I can get my hands underneath it if I wanted to, no problem whatsoever. So with this gorgeous big turkey, have a look at the roaster. I mean, what we've got for you here is not only the roaster, you're also getting that beautiful V-Rack. Actually, I still need And the need V-Rack is non-stick too. Oh, and so, that's, oh. Look at this, the whole oh. turkey comes out just like that. Very, very beautiful. I mean, mm. the, the beautiful thing about it is you can have all of the juice, all of the basting that you need to do underneath, which, by the way... This almost looks fake. It's so pretty. Isn't it so gorgeous? It's beautiful. And that's what happens when you've got it on oh. this V-rack, right? Let me just turn it around so you can see it a little bit better. So can you see oh, it there? Now, the <gasps> air is circulating all the way around this turkey, right? All the way around because that beautiful rack, look at that. Yeah. It's a little too hot for me to handle, but you can see it there. It lets the air circulate all the way around. Now, I'm gonna baste it, and I've got the best turkey baster on the market. This is patented. No one else can make it. Mm. It's airtight, so let me prove that to you. I can put my thumb on the end. Have a look here. Okay. See how that's just there. Until I decide it's time to let it go, there you go, nice. right? So you can imagine what it does at the other end. When, it, when you wanna actually baste, oh. watch how quickly this fills up. Ooh, right? wow, and now the best strong. part of all is, see the suction on that? Yes. The best part is it will hold it. It won't go, watch. Oh, watch. See, no, no dripping. No way. It, oh. No dripping. See that? Until I actually want it to drip, which means I want to push it down and start basting all over. So <gasps> there you go. It's just the most incredible baster. Oh, yes. Look at this. Okay. Gorgeous, right? You have a choice of the black or the red. We've got two color choices. Mm -hmm. Do you see this sale price on a roaster? This is what we need right now. This is what we absolutely need. Not only, I mean, for the big turkey or the big chicken or the big right. bird, a, a rack of ribs. Listen, but then the rest of the year. You don't want to roast your holiday roast in one of these. They're terrible to use. You this will. roaster. By the way, you'll, you'll be using it. it as a griddle. You'll be using it all year long, but for the holiday, <laughs> it is totally worth it. Again, that beautiful rack allows you to, yes, roast potatoes, roast vegetables underneath, but then on top of it, you just drop your rack on, and then, of course, you've got that beautiful dripping. beef dripping down. <gasps> all right, so here it is, my bear claws. Again, you guys, I'm going to pick this up. Matt, do we have the thermometer, the digital read thermometer, anywhere near? Because I want to show everybody... Great. Thank Thanks, you, buddy. Matt. Exactly how this digital read thermometer works. What you do is you open it up like that, right? This is the one you I have at down. home. I love it. It made my, my turkey was perfect this year. I don't know if you can see this very mm. well or not. Let me see if I can find you. There you go. All right, so I go and say, I want to cook beef, because you can cook beef, lamb, pork, fish, turkey, or chicken. And then you say, I want to choose a temperature. Maybe you want it medium. That'll preset it to 140. Then what you do is you probe that into the beef, just like that. It's going to give you a readout, a digital readout of exactly where it is so when you're cooking this holiday that's 118 which means this is nice and rare yeah okay so let me prove that to you I'm gonna go ahead and cut through this roast beef <laughs> and you're gonna see it's still quite rare probably needed a little bit longer I think oh look at that yep still pretty rare to me but you will know exactly what's happening inside your roast with that digital read and thermometer. it tells you on there what temperature it should be for exactly. whatever it is that you're mm -hmm. cooking and that was a big help to me because I'm like I don't know what should mm -hmm. turkey be and it just it's really really clear oh, oh yeah see Beautiful. it's massive mm. that's two butterfly chickens okay look at that. And so the size of this guy is 16 and a half by 14, stands about four inches in the height. I mean, it's massive. So you can literally put up to a 25 pound bird in there, but anything else, I mean, that's what I love about braising pork chops. You want a lot of room around your food. Right, well, I mean, look, with the, with the winter here, look at the squash that we've done in there. And then again, you know, stainless steel utensils won't even scratch it, but you can imagine the cleanup. And I'll get to that in a minute and show oh. it to you. Ooh, but I'm just showing ham. you all the different roasts that you'll be doing. Look at this ham. Oh, it's gorgeous. gorgeous Christmas ham. I mean, come on. Oh, it's yes. It's so wonderful. And again, make sure you're picking up on that baster because you want to be able to go ahead and get some of that incredible juice. Oh, Look at how it the feels. The suction is awesome Isn't on this. It's so intense. And watch, if I lift it open, you'll see it it'll even suck air through there. Yay. That's how intense it is, right? So you can go ahead, 
baste that with your glaze, that gorgeous Christmas ham. Oh, so I'm, I'm going to try to find that baster item number because that is really, really impressive. Really, really cool. And if you are just tuning in, we have 10 minutes left with Curtis for the year. This is it. We're okay. on the countdown now. So, now let's talk about how you'll be using this because you'll be cooking steaks because it's Durapan, don't forget, right? So whether they're New York strips or ribeyes, whether you're doing fillets, whether you want to do a surf and turf. By the way, we have all of these incredible bacon wrapped shrimp. We've got the uh, fillets available, the New York strips are available, the ribeyes are available. So you'll be able to get all of that going. I'm not sure if we still have some of these pepper and salt grinders. There's been these so many the gravity this mills. Weekend. They've been selling their socks off, so if you could give us an update, I'd really appreciate it, but I'm not sure whether we have them or not. Um, you can also be using my spice sets, of course, the blackening seasoning, or the flavors of the world if you want, but you're gonna get gorgeous caramelization, and of course, you know, the cleanup on this baby is gonna be an absolute dream. So what you're getting in this big roaster is the same kind of quality that you love about the Durapan. Like the same right. technology, the same thickness. This is this is a nice weighty piece. I mean, You'll, this is a this is a beautiful. This should so not be fifty nine dollars. That's a great. It's I mean, look. A good you say it's weighty. Someone said yesterday it cooks like it's heavy, but look at this. Right. I can still hang it on my pinky right now. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Right. It's a heavy, heavier piece because it's so big. It's a big. But it's still not crazy. All right. What I'm going to show you here is a giant jambalaya. All right. Now look at this. I'm going to start spooning this out, and I won't get to the bottom of it because it's. There's just Ooh, so much. Can you see how the rice, see the crispiness on the rice yeah. that you get in? So it doesn't burn, but it will crisp and give you that incredible sort of flavor. Now you'll notice I'm using stainless steel oh. utensils, no problem. I'm only gonna get to spoon half of this out. Maybe you cook for your community group. Maybe this. you cook at your church. Maybe you're cooking for a big family. Someone mentioned before they wanted a 20 quart stock pot. Right. You want to pick up on this because you can use this as a stock pot, but you can also use it as a brazer, as a slow cooker, as a roaster, as a big griddle. As you a know, big just griddle. So many ways to use this. I mean, I mean I'm a huge out of space. lasagna. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's massive. It is such a wonderful key piece that happens to be twenty dollars off, to, and on six flex makes it ten dollars. Well, we wanted to, to get, get yourself a, a new roaster. Reasonably yeah. priced for the holidays. Guaranteed really for Christmas did. too. Guaranteed before Christmas. And here's the cool part: you can see how I've gone and spooned a mountain of jambalaya it's out. Enormous but amount. Of course, food. the cleanup is what we're all interested in. Are you going to be scrubbing this pan? Is it going to be um, horrific to clean up? Well, let me answer that. Watch this. <laughs> you, like with all of my Durapan product, will just wipe it clean. Can you believe that something that took that long to cook and make a mess Look at it. It looks like new again. Spotless. And you it know, will for no years. Tricks. <laughs> it will for years down the road. I don't have so one right. scrape in mine. The thing about nonstick, for so many years, it just never, ever changed. And, I mean, the idea of using a metal utensil, you know what happened. It started peeling. You couldn't put it on right. temperatures of, that were too high. It would start warping. Those are things of the past. Let's see if it's searing nicely. Let's see if we're getting beautiful color. Let's see if it's nice and even. Look at these gorgeous ribeye steaks. Beautiful color on there. Beautiful color on the fillets. You know, they're all just working so lovely. Now, the cool part about this, Ooh. of course, look at those bacon wrapped And you've got shrimp. that on two burners. This is on, well, let me show you. It's barely on two burners. Barely, yeah. It works so well. Have a look underneath there. Those two little piddly things. <laughs> They're so small, right? But the great part is you get the, the heat conduction because of the aluminum. That's why it's all cooked so beautifully and evenly. Isn't that impressive? I mean, you gotta to admit, oven. that's not on one big long burner that's giving it the ability to cook evenly from edge to edge or corner to corner. It just does it because of the quality, the thickness, the way these pot pans have been in, uh, made. Customer pick again. You've probably noticed every single item we've had on our show today, customer pick. Go to hsn.com, you'll see oh, a lot, lot more. Pork, oh, pork. I mean, I've done two pork butts, right? Huge. Again, my bear claws are also available for you, but I think we're getting very limited they on those are as well. down to final quantities Have there. a look at what I can do here. Huh? I can pull this pork butt very, very simply, very, very easily. I mean, are you joking me? It just, <laughs> it happens so quick. It looks incredible. Matt, it looks beautiful. You know, it's just falling apart. And every time I do this, oh. I think to myself, I mean, did I mention there's a big football game in a few weeks? 
<laughs> and do you want to bring me some buns oh, and some good. coleslaw, please? Because this is about all I want for my uh, my big football party. So how do you do this? Do you put this in an oven, just slow bake it? You just throw it in. You, we put some barbecue sauce. Uh -huh. If you want to add some garlic and some onions, you can. Uh -huh. You can add chili too. But we put barbecue sauce in here, which we make homemade, but you can use a store-bought one if you'd prefer. We throw the pork butt in, you put it in the roaster, and that's it. You come back in four hours or so, you might want to throw a little tin foil over it, aluminum foil over the top, but have a look at that. Look I mean, at, it, it just is falls a apart. feast it, done in minutes. Massive. That's what well, I love about a big... It takes hours to cook, but minutes to pull apart, that's for sure. 12, or an 11 quart. So if you do want a big, a 25 pound bird, this will accommodate, but smaller. I mean, we, we're using this as just to, to grill a few steaks. Ooh, what is that? Look at that mac and cheese. And cheese. Are you serious Same right deal. now? Again, oh my goodness. You know, like, I mean, talk about cooking for the masses. <laughs> Have a look at the size of this mac and cheese. We all need you know, a big piece like this. Isn't it so beautiful? By the way, we've put a little pour spout in the corner. So not that you'd be pouring mac and cheese out, but if you ever had something that was a bit more brothy Drippings or liquid, from your... a giant soup that you were making. Right. You know, so again, you can go ahead. You can see oh, just the quantity piece. that this piece can produce. It's this really beautiful. This is what a moment. Really, this is just an incredible, an essential piece. Really you may is. not use it every day, but you know. And you're right, Curtis. These di collapsible, disposable things that we buy at the grocery store thinking, oh, it'll be easier to clean up this year. Uh, yeah, right. think again. Maybe you don't need the last time I tried this, I mean, the whole bird almost fell right out onto the ground because right. they're so flimsy. This is something you'll have for a lifetime. You'll oh, love it. Oh, also desserts. I mean, look at what I've done here. Bread and butter pudding. Really delicious, right? Mm. So, so simple. By the way, our Dura plates, which... You can do that and you're not gonna chip them. They come in a set of four, but I'm gonna use one of these to show you just, and you can find those on hsn.com. I know I'm throwing thousands of products, hundreds of products at you, but there you go. Look at that bread and butter pudding with just a little bit of syrup, maybe. Mm, maybe a little maybe bit a of little uh, more. powdered <laughs> sugar, because why not? I know. So. We are on oh, yeah. the countdown. We are here for our final few minutes with Curtis for the rest of the year. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. If you missed part of our show, check it out. You can either mm. re-watch on hsn.com, check under the program guide, and you can also, of course, go to hsn.com and type in Curtis Stone and just see the pages of amazing opportunities that come up. You will notice all customer picks, the most highly rated cookware that we offer. Very, very happy for all of you who could take advantage of these awesome I mean, sale prices today. Look the, at that incredible ribeye. By the way, mm. we have the ribeyes, the New York strips, oh, the yes. filet mignons. And the spices. The, the spices are available. We have a whole food sale. So please go to hsn.com and shop. Get it all before the holidays hit. In the meantime, first this cookware for the roaster is 680520. We still have black, we still have the red. There's ugh, red is very limited in the hundreds Red's now available. Yep. So your spices, I, I promise we give you a few minutes of information on it. Yeah. So I'm gonna, can I grab it from here? Yeah. You stay there, I'll bring you. Actually, well, do you wanna we'll come, come with over. me? Let's okay, come over. let's do it. I wanna tell everybody what you get this is better. inside here. So we started off, unfortunately, we've just sold out of the grill collection, I've been told. Is that true? Or yes. do we still have some of the 